Some more sausages, Mr. E? No, thank you, sir. Beans and jerky for the next couple of weeks, Heath. You better settle down and have yourself a good meal. This time I was going. I'll pick up that bank draft in town and be on my way. All right, let's go. Uh, look, Heath, I was going to town anyway. Well, why not the rest of the way? Why not all the way to Plankton to pick up that stallion we don't need? What are you talking about? We need that stallion for breeding. We don't need it. All we need is me out of town until Rance Kendall has a chance to cool down. Heath, is it such a bad idea? Consider the alternative. I just don't like carrying on this game of making believe nothing's happened. All right, something did happen. It was tragic, but it wasn't your fault. He was drunk and he didn't know what he was doing. Drunk or sober, he drew on you first. Now, what else could you do? That's true, Heath, and Kendall will see that if you just give him a little time. A couple of weeks thought and he'll realize another gunfight isn't going to bring his kid back. Especially when he hasn't got a chance of winning and you know it. I didn't, maybe I wouldn't be going. See you. Don't worry, I'll see that he gets out of town. Well, I... I gotta get that corral ready for the stallion. Are we pretending to each other? Do you really think Kendall will change his mind? I don't know, Audra. He can be an evil man and a stupid one. I just don't know. Roundup time, Mr. Kendall. New hands are hard to come by. But we'll find somebody. To to take his place? I don't think so. Yeah. Morning, Rance. He was a boy. Just a boy. With a gun. Mr. Kendall, I know how you must feel about losing your son. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Don't try. You don't need it, and I don't want it. All I want is you dead now, like my boy is. And you will be. You can take my word on that. I won't fight you. They'd roll in saddlebags. Running off won't save you. I'll be back. Don't worry. You can go as far as you like, and you can come back when you like, because you're as good as dead now. I promised him that. And that's one promise I'm going to keep. Rance, this kind of talk isn't going to do anybody. Keep out of it. I'm talking to him. Like I said, Mr. Kendall, I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. Mr. Kendall, I worked for you a long time. And I ain't one to give advice. Forget it, Bates. I can't. I've got to say it. Call Heath Barkley out, you're a dead man. Your son was fast, real fast, but not like him. You wouldn't stand a chance. I got no notion to call him out. I just want him dead. How? In a fight. Fair fight, just as fair as my son had, but not with me. Vern Hicks, ever heard of him? Hickson? You want to tell me again how fast Heath Barkley is? Not that fast. Not against Hickson. You sent for him? I've sent for him.
something I can do for you? Better go home. No profit in it. Wait! You shouldn't have let him go like that. Nothing else I could do. He killed our pa. Your pa drew first. Pa had no choice. He made him. Now, he was hired to kill him. You know that the same as you we listen did. listen to me, boys. Your pa had some enemies, people who wanted his land. That doesn't mean they went out and hired Vern Hickson to kill him. Hickson's a hired gun. Why else would he do it? I don't know. All I know is you got no proof. Without proof, there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. Nothing. Maybe there's something we can do. Smell that water, do you, boy? Huh? Hey, let's go get something. Sorry, friend. Thought you were someone else. Whoever you're expecting. Can't be too friendly. Well, can't say I was expecting anyone, but a man can't be too careful. You were that. I enjoy living. These are rough parts. I heard there were some desperados around in the area. Which way are you heading? North. Well, so am I. Then maybe I'll see you again. Better watch out for those desperados. I will. I saw them before in my life. Must have been those desperados I was telling you about. They don't look, look more like kids, like farmers. Never judge a man by his appearance. It can be dangerous. Like you, for instance. Much obliged, but who are you? Name's Heath Barkley. 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 Yours? Hickson. Vern Hickson. 
You heard of me, huh? I've heard of you. You said you were heading north. Whereabouts? Well, that's my business, isn't it, friend? Oh. This wound needs tendon. And tend it. Don't leave. You heard right, friend. It's the way it is with me. I don't ask favors and I don't give any. You ask my name and you don't like it. That's your privilege. Stay or leave. That's your privilege, too. Leave now, you'll bleed to death. <laughs> Slug's got to come out. So? You bite on this, you're gonna need it. Hey, I like your style, friend. Open. I made out of dried jerky. I feel like I'm on fire. It's fever. How long have I been out? About six hours. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You'll make it. Drink some more. Baby, it don't matter who. A thousand, thousand dollars, please. Baby, damn, it don't, it don't matter who. Baby. Save me! Save me! Find me! It don't, it don't matter who. Baby. Baby. Please. Baby. Thousand, thousand, thousand. Baby. 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 Come on. Don't be so, so over there. It's all right. Forgetting about that arm. Yeah. You know, you could have gotten yourself killed sticking your neck out for me. Keep wondering why. I have to explain it. It wouldn't make any difference. You don't like me much, do you? Not much. Why not? You're a hired killer. That's right. But a lot of people are killers one way or another. My way is more direct, that's all. Dog eat dog. I found that out, so I eat. A lot better than this as a rule. No reflection on your cooking. Men you've never seen before? Men you got nothing against? My best friend. If I had a best friend, and the price was right. You ever kill a man? I've had to. You know, I've killed... I don't know how many. And I never felt a thing. Not one thing. But you felt something, didn't you? Leaving it, son up. Well, 
much hurt. It uh, was so warm, I couldn't sleep. Yeah, I know. I, I couldn't either. So many reasons why he could be late. Oh, sure there are. You know, Jared, I was thinking about Kendall's son a few moments ago. If it hadn't been Heath, it probably would have been somebody else. He, he was that kind. He just had to have it all. Rance ruined that boy, Mother. He gave him everything. Everything except what he really needed, I guess. Well, it's easy to say yes. And it's difficult to say no, even when you know better. And Kendall didn't. You know, Jared, I think there's a breeze coming up. It might be a little cooler tomorrow. I hope so. Nick and I are going out to look for him tomorrow. And don't you worry. We'll find him. Thank you, Jared. Good night, Mother. Good night. We'll take the trail to Willow Cut Point. We'll probably camp the night at Stone Mason. Now, if uh, Heath comes in by a different route, you... Uh, Send one of the other men out for us, will you? All right. We'll probably find him walking some lame horse somewhere. Or trying to ride that wild stallion. Will you get that horse saddled out? Gee. He's lost a lot of blood. Can I make it all right, mister? I made it this far. I'll make it. Vern Hickson. Yeah? Last I heard, he'd killed 16 men. I want him out of here right now. Oh, Let somebody else take care of him. Who? I don't know, but get him out from under this roof. He's not to be moved. Not until he's well. All right. Well, Doc said he'd be okay in a few days. Well, he better be right. I want him out of here as soon as he can stand. We all do, Nick. Oh, excuse me, I think I'll take a hot bath. I think we're very lucky. Lucky! Heath is home. And he's safe. Your sister. How are you feeling? Yeah, I remember you. When they brought me in. How long ago? About eight hours. Are you hungry? I didn't know how much. Oh. Here, let me help you. Comfortable? Yeah. As much as it can be expected. How about you? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Your brother must have told you about me. Does it bother you? It bothers me. Mm. A man's got to go on living. A lot of people I meet, though. You make it sound very matter of fact. Yeah, that's what it is, a matter of fact. Want to know another one? You're about the prettiest woman I've ever seen. It doesn't seem to please you. It doesn't. That's all profit and loss in this world. It's kill or be killed. People you don't even know. Wouldn't matter much if I did know them, as long as I get paid. And I get paid pretty good. What people say about you, they're right. Yeah, people don't seem to like me very much. But I'll bet you could. What I'd like is to have you out of this house as soon as possible. With you around here, not much of a hurry.
What are you doing out of bed? I'm feeling better. Lock that up. Something I want to say to you. What's that? I'm sorry about the things I said last night. I had no call to do that. Lately, I've been having trouble with the people I've met, especially women. I'm afraid I've forgotten how to act around them. Lady. Please forget it. All right, I'll forget it. Everything except one thing I said to you. You are the prettiest woman I've ever seen. Still doesn't please you. Sorry. I'm sorry, too. you. Don't be. I don't want that. Not from you. I'm sorry, because after you leave here, you'll go on as you are. As I am. What else is there? It has to be explained. No, don't bother. As your brother said, it wouldn't make any difference. Right? What I want, I take my way. Let me help you. Hello. Made it down alone. Make it up the same way. And if it's any comfort to you, I'll soon be out of your house. The eyes. When a man's going to draw a you can always tell by his eyes. Hey. Come on, try it. Are your gears packed? You're ready to go? Why the games? What's the matter? Well, it matters to me. Man, I know he's gonna pay me a lot of money to do a simple job. With this arm, I want to make sure I haven't lost my touch. Whoever he is, I hope you have. I'll get your gear. Hey! I guess I haven't. Well, I'm all set. You know, I kind of hate to leave. I really do. Where's Audra? In the house. We'll say goodbye for you. You do that. Don't expect we'll meet again. Sure I can't send you some money? Hate owing. You owe us nothing. Just as you like. But I'm beholden, real beholden. What we did for you, we would have done for anybody. If you did it for me, I'm sure you would. Well, so long, Heath. I guess I ought to thank you again. I don't know if I'd have done the same thing for you. Oh, that man I've got to see. You tell me where I can find him. His name is Rance Kendall. You'll find him. I'm sure I will. Heath Barkley. You know him? Saved my life. Saved your life? When? Doesn't matter when or how. 
person saves your life, man ought to be grateful. You saying you're backing out of it? You know, his family helped a lot, too. Got a thousand dollars here. Count it. I don't have to count it. Nobody ever cheated me. I can say the same thing, Hickson. Meaning? Meaning Barkley killed my son. He's gonna die for it. I hired you to do the job. You agreed to do it. You back out now. I'd say I was being cheated. Don't threaten me, Kendall. I don't take kindly to that. I hired you for the job. Just taking a little time to think it over. Don't take too long. The job will be done. Leave the money. If I spend it, Heath Barkley would be dead. Where do you think you're going? At least had time to find Rance. Decide what he's going to do. Oh, I see. He's just going to ride into town, make it easy for him, huh? You think saving that man's life's going to make any difference to him? I know it won't. And why? He's a gunfighter. He won't draw unless I do. I don't intend to. I just want to tell him that. Oh. All right, well, you take it easy here. Thanks, Nick. Give any, I told you that. You set the time and place. I'm not drawn against you. Yeah. Let's say, uh, the street tomorrow at 10. I won't be there. Uh, Heath. Uh, uh, not your way. Mine. this? Not like this. Tomorrow at 10. Sooner or later, that's how it is. You've got no choice. Audrey said it would be all right. I just don't see any reason for you to go into town. Well, there's lots of reasons. You just told me how important it was that you have that fitting at the dressmaker's. That was before I knew Nick was gone. I can go in myself. Not while there's an able-bodied male Barkley here. Heath, be serious. You know you shouldn't go into town with Vern Hicks in there. Audra, I, I am serious. Now, what am I supposed to do? Dig a hole and hide in it? No, but well, you... No buts now. Up you go. Besides, I'm not wearing a gun, and even Vern Hickson wouldn't force a fight with a man that's unarmed. Here you go. Marriage to do. I'll pick you up here. All right.
Mr. Open. I want to talk to you. It's my pleasure. Do you uh, want some coffee? I want to talk about heat. Well, your brother really disappoints me. Sending his sister over to plead for him? He didn't send me and I... What? And I am pleading. No, you're not pleading. You're wasting your time. The other day when you came downstairs, you... you were different. No, I only thought that. I did too for a while. It's no good. You're talking about my brother's life. No. Talking about a job, just like all the others. Animal. I'm a, I'm a businessman. It's a cold thing, business. I didn't make the rules. didn't make the rules. Nobody did. Because there aren't any. Not even for you, the prettiest woman. Lady I've ever seen. I'm sorry. What happened? Now tell me the truth. Barkley, you're looking at the truth. You know she came to my room to beg for you? But she's so pretty. I guess I got carried away. He, no! Gotta know, God, I'll kill you. Tomorrow, Ted, you want more of what you've been getting? He, that's just what he wants. That's right. And I always get what I want. You know, town I came from, there was a farmer a lot like you. He wouldn't fight either. But in the end, he did. Oh. You met his sons. After they were dead. Those desperados, remember? Those boys' father, a simple farmer. You drew on him? Uh -uh. He drew on me. Like you will. Yeah. Just like you will.
Keith. Why? There's no other way. I've got to meet him. Keith, please, I've told you. It wasn't me. He was just using me to Nothing get to you. Nothing happened. Nothing worth dying for. It's not just Audra. I tried to turn my back on it. I, I can't anymore. I'm meeting him tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. He? Oh, never mind, Audra. It wouldn't do any good. It's my fault if I hadn't gone there. It wouldn't have happened. Oh, you were just trying to help. We all are. Funny thing is, we've been going about it in the wrong way. Audrey, hitch up the buggy. Why? Never mind. I have to go to town. Just hitch up the buggy. Yeah. May I come in? Oh, please do, Mrs. Barclay. What can I do for you? I've come to ask you not to murder my son. Murder? It'll be a fair fight. In fact, he'll draw first. He saved your life. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Uh-huh. It means he saved my life. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I just don't understand how a man like you can live with himself. I've got a job, just like everybody. I'm in business, like a banker. Bankers don't kill people. Oh, don't they? Well, he wasn't much of a man. Let people walk all over him, took it. He always said he tried to do what he called the decent thing. Had a farm. It wasn't worth much, just a dried up piece of land. It was his. He put his sweat into it and his dreams. One year his crops failed and the man came around. He said, that farm's not yours anymore. The bank was foreclosing. So the next day, a kid of 12, on his birthday, climbed a raft in the barn, cut a rope, and watched his father fall like a sack of grain at his mother's feet. That man, who always tried to do the decent thing, that was my father. Bankers don't kill people. Everybody, everybody kills. And for the same reason, money. My way is more honest. That's all. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. He deserved what he got. Everybody does. And that's why it's important to get the other man first. I've lived by that. I reckon someday, a long time from now, I'll die by it. You died a long time ago. And it's you I'm sorry for. Save your sorrow. You'll be needing it, and I'm sorry for that. But, like the banker said to my father, business is business. All right. All right, then let's talk business. How much is Rance Kendall paying you to kill Heath? Hmm? How much is anybody paying you to kill Heath? <laughs> Why? $5,000. $5,000 if you ride out of Stockton before 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. $5,000? That's a lot of money. That's truly a lot of money. And you'll do it. Add another thousand. You got a deal.
The bank. The bank opens at uh, nine o'clock. I think I'll be their first customer. Why are you smiling? <laughs> it's funny. That banker. He only made a few hundred for killing my father. And I walk into that bank tomorrow morning. I make six thousand dollars. For not killing a man. I call that profit. No. No, not profit. Money, perhaps, but not profit. Compassion, kindness, that's where you find profit. But the dead can't know that, only the living. And I can't communicate with the dead. I can only feel for them and pity them. For $6,000, Mrs. Barkley. You feel what you like. You can't do this to me. I paid you. But not enough. I've had a better offer. Besides, I haven't liked this job since I found out who it was. Well, you took my money quick enough. That's right. I took it. You paid me. And I'd have done the job if I had to. But, but a man saves your life. Oh, don't try that on me. If they hadn't bought you off, you'd have killed him without giving it a second thought. I might have tried to. But that split second before firing. I might have remembered. Remembered what? Remember that he patched you up and brought you in? Yeah. Something like that. Anyhow, there's no profit in it now. There's more than one kind of profit. <laughs> so I've been told. You could end up losing everything. You threatening me? I'm telling you. <laughs> Any time. <laughs> What did you say? Oh, I just... Morning, everybody. Good morning, Jared. Morning, Jared, Mother. I'm trying to find out how Mother did it. Well, that's very simple. She's a magician. Where's he? He's still asleep. Probably the best night's sleep he's got in the... Well, good morning, Heath. Good morning, Mr. Heath. Good morning. Got a mighty fine breakfast today. I bet you got a mighty fine appetite to match it. <laughs> Mother, last night you said you talked Vern into changing his mind. I'd like to know how you did that. What does it matter? He has. How much did you have to pay him? Well, I never said I... You didn't have to. I know him. How much? All right, Heath. All right. Six. Six thousand dollars and worth every cent to get him to ride out of town. And after he rides out, who's next? Whether if it's wrong for Vern to kill for money, it's just as wrong for me to stay alive because we got the money to buy him off. Now, he's got to be stopped. I don't know if I can. But I've got to try. I'm sorry, Mother. I've got to face him. I'll be back. Wait a minute, Heath. I'll saddle the horses. No. I think I've got that right. And I'm asking you to respect it. But thanks. All of you.
What for? But didn't your mother tell you? She paid me off. You're worth more to me now as you are. Now, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of glad I didn't have to kill you. But you'd have done it if she hadn't paid you off. Yeah, I'd have done it. In a fair fight, of course. How many fair fights have you had, Vern? I don't count. But there'll be more. Yeah, I reckon. Get out. You're out of your mind. I've been paid. There's no profit. I said get out. No chance, Heath. I'm sure I could take you. 99% sure. But that 1% gamble without a cent to win. Those are odds I don't like to mess with. Like I say, there's no profit. Well, so long, friend. Consider yourself lucky. thousand dollars. More money than I ever had. I'll never spend it. Sorry, Vern. I thought you were drawing on me. Son, rifle. He had me cold. No, Vern. He had me cold. that stallion. Why do you try? That's what I've been trying to tell him. Well, I've got to ride him. What else is he good for? Well, like I heard, we needed this particular very fine stallion to improve our breed. Just couldn't get along without him. That's what you said, Nick. Yeah, it looks like now we got a stallion nobody can ride, not even fit for breeding. Looks like a waste of money. <laughs> That's right. You all have a good laugh. But if it hadn't been for that stallion, I mean, suppose, just suppose, that Hickson didn't meet Heath here on the trail. That Hickson went into town, saw Rance, and then called Heath out. He has a point, Audra. You bet I have. That plug may not be good for anything but the glue pot, but we still made a profit. Heath, come on. Help me catch that ornery piece of horse flesh. I'm going to give him another ride. Or vice versa. 